afternoon. Thank you for your patience waiting for us. Dan just wanted to make sure we had the shadow up here so we'd be comfortable before we started. So, no, we, we appreciate you um, patiently waiting for us. Uh, we are so thankful that you are here to join Dan and Jamie on this such a special occasion in their lives. Um, we trust that you enjoy it. It'll be meaningful to you. You who have been so meaningful in their lives to this point to share this with them. We want to address everyone just for a moment, because really you're here this morning or this afternoon more than just as guests at a wedding. Your witnesses here today to the vows that they will make. These aren't just uh, ritual sayings we go through. They're very meaningful words. I know they are, especially for Dan and Jamie. I know that they are intent, making ever effort in living according to these vows they make to one another, that it would guide their lives in a meaningful way. It's been my pleasure to spend a little bit of time with them to hear, to address these things, and to know it is their heart one with another. You're also witnesses to the declaration of love that they will make with one another today. It's been neat to hear their testimony, to hear uh, kind of their journey together to see God's providence and grace bringing them to this point, all the small decisions, seemingly random choices and placements in life that have brought them to this point. A lot of you have played a part in those decisions um, in, in the different times in their life that have brought them to this point and really sealed in their hearts and their minds a love for one another, a desire to be here together in this way. And finally, you are witnesses to a covenant that they will make with one another. A serious covenant, one that displays and reflects Jesus Christ's commitment to his church. It is a covenant of self-sacrificing and selfless love. Not one where someone begrudgingly gives up some rights or lays aside their identity, but one where two hearts unite. Where Dan's greatest joy, Jamie's greatest joy, becomes the success, the joy of the other. And it's that kind of covenant love to which you will witness um, this afternoon. So we are glad that you're here and part of this. At a wedding, there are always a lot of emotions present. Of course, there is joy. There is celebration. And so we are excited about that. Of course, we are looking forward to the celebration afterwards as well. Um, but there's also some nostalgia, some reflection, especially for parents as they see their child um, coming down, standing before them. And so there is that as well. There is a solemnity, there's a weightiness to the moment of vows being made that will set you guys on a path together. And finally, I hope for all of this, there is uh, some gratitude, humility, 
as we see God's grace in their lives bringing us to this point, as we can thank the Lord that we got to be part of their lives and hopefully continue to do so, and as you have been part of their lives, that there is humility, gratefulness, and thankfulness to God. Just a few moments. I have two charges I want to leave here with the the bride and the groom. They're on the topic of love and joy. Of course, love, every wedding sermon has to be about love, so I'm guilty of that. Um, But it has been a real pleasure for me to get to know you guys. It's an honor for me to be part of this day with you. Um, To get to know Jamie in different circumstances, to see her genuine heart of kindness, her generosity, her honesty, um, it's going to serve you well in your marriage. It'll serve you well. Then to see that in Dan, I've got to know him a little bit, to hear that from Jamie, to see that in his actions and in his word, it, it, will, it will serve you guys very well. Both of their testimonies have been how they, they're better people because of each other. I don't know if Dan remembers, well, the first time we met, he, he made a statement, something to the effect that he even likes himself better when Jamie is around. And I thought that, that's beautiful, that it's, it's not giving up some sort of freedom or giving up some sort of right, but really to find his true identity, to find his satisfaction, completion in Jamie, in this one that God has brought into his life. My first charge to you guys is this, that you would be bold and patient as you grow in love. Almost anything really valuable that we obtain, that we earn, that we, we get in this life takes boldness and takes patience. Whether it's a, a job, a passion you pursue, a relationship, whatever it might te- take, whatever it might be, it takes boldness and patience. Boldness in that you, you don't gain anything really valuable if you just stand on the sidelines and observe it. You really have to jump into it. The same is true in marriage. If you want your love to move, continue to move, I should say, beyond a, a static kind of surface love into soul-satisfying, deep-down-rooted love, you need to be courageous in your love. You need to be vulnerable, take risks, hold nothing back from one another. There is vulnerability in that. Insecurities come to the forefront in that. That's where you find that deep down, unshakable love. That in the highs, you rejoice together. And then even in the lows of life, as those will come at times, that the impulse is not to move away from one another, but to run to the one who is hurting. No matter how hurt, no matter how long, you stand side by side in those And then that your love is patient. You will face challenges. You'll face great joys. That you would enjoy the moments, but at the same time, take the long view of a life together that grows in love. And then the same is true for the second charge, that you would be bold and patient in your pursuit of joy together. The same thing is true. Almost anything really satisfying and joyful in this life takes boldness, takes patience. I'm not talking about a a light happiness that comes and goes. Again, I'm talking about soul-satisfying, rooted joy together, unshakable joy together. That in the highs, you really rejoice with one another, that you are bold, that you, you jump in, that you are vulnerable with one another and find real joy walking through life together. And then when the difficulties come, it doesn't, your, your happiness might flee, the fun might flee for a moment, but the joy remains. So I charge you with that. Go hard after those things. Don't live a life of just surface, static, trite type of love and joy, but be bold, be patient to pursue the soul-satisfying, deep-rooted, unshakable joy and love together. Let's take a moment pray to our God that he would bless these, this moment here with them.
and bless Dan and Jamie in the days and years ahead. God, we are so grateful that you have brought us to this moment. Lord, we thank you for Dan. We thank you for Jamie. We thank you for their kindness and love and loyalty that have affected so many who are here today witnessing this. Lord, we thank you for the random circumstances that we know are random, for the decisions big and small that have brought them to this point. Lord, might you bless this marriage. Might you bless their life together. Might you give them that deep down rooted love and joy that will be unshakable. Lord, might together they be a light to others. Might their love serve each other and at the same time be a light to those around them. So Lord, we ask your blessing on this union. We ask your blessing on Dan and Jamie in the days ahead. In Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Before we move to a time of vows, we want to take just a moment of quiet that we could, for a moment, reflect on all that the Lord has done to bring you to this point. That we could think seriously about the vows, the weight of the covenant that they are about to make together. And then that we could just absorb the beauty of this moment together. So let's just take a moment of quiet and reflection. vows are made and the rings are exchanged, let us hear this summary of what God says about marriage. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church. And Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Dan, in the presence of God and these, your family and friends, do you promise to have Jamie to be your wedded wife, to live with her after God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage, secure in the knowledge that she will be your constant friend, faithful partner, and one true love? And will you love her honor her, respect her, and be faithful to her. All this by God's grace. Jamie, is in the presence of God and these your family and friends, do you promise to have Dan to be your wedded husband, to live with him after God's commandments in the holy estate of marriage, secure in the knowledge that he will be your constant friend, faithful partner, and one true love? And will you love him, honor him, respect him, and be faithful to him? All this by God's grace. With these vows made, we will now exchange the rings. As a symbol of your love and your covenant together, you will give these rings to one another. In doing this, you are asking each other to keep and wear this ring as a continual reminder of the vows you have spoken this day and the love that you share together. These rings with their enduring beauty 
will ever represent and remind you of the enduring nature of your love, its beauty, and its preciousness. As you place the ring on Jamie's hand, you repeat after me. I, Dan, take you, Jamie, Jamie to be my wedded wife. <laughs> Trying to find the right finger there. All right. <clears throat> All right, take two. I, Dan, take you, Jamie, to be my wedded wife. Wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy plan, I gladly enter this union and I pledge my faithfulness to you. Jamie, you place the ring on Dan's hand. Be after me. I, Jamie, take you, Dan, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy plan. I gladly enter this union and I pledge my faithfulness to you. Dan and Jamie, as you have communicated and vowed your love to one another in the sight of God and these, your family,